Good morning and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for standing by and welcome to the Ding Dong Limited fourth quarter 2023 earnings conference call. At this time, all participants are in a listen-only mode. Please note that this event is being recorded. I would now like to turn the conference over to the first speaker today, Nikki Jen, Director of Investor Relations. Please go ahead. Thank you. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Ding Dong's fourth quarter 2023 earnings call. With me today are Mr. Chang Ling Liang, our founder and the CEO, and Mr. Song Wang, our CFO. You can refer to our fourth quarter 2023 financial results on our IR website at ir100me. You can also access a replay of this call on our IR website when it becomes available a few hours after its conclusion. For today's call, management will go through their prepared remarks, which will be followed by a question and answer session. Before we continue, I would like to refer you to our safe harbor statement in our earnings press release, which also applies to this call. As we will make, be making forward-looking statements, please note that all numbers stated in the following management prepared remarks are in RMB terms. And we will discuss non-GAAP measures today, which are more thoroughly explained and reconciled to the most comparable measures reported in our earnings press release and filings with the SEC. I will now turn the call to our first speaker today, the founder and the CEO of Ding Dong, Mr. Liang. 谢谢各位投资人,各位分析师,各位叮咚买菜的朋友,欢迎大家来参加叮咚买菜2023年Q4的财报分析会。Hello, everyone, and welcome to Ding Dong's fourth quarter 2023 earnings call. So, 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 Gap标准下实现营收是四点九亿元，GMV为五十五点三亿元，毛利率环比提升至百分之三十点六。净盈利现金流净流入一点二亿元，Long-Gap标准下净利润率为百分之零点三，全年来看，营收一百九十九点七
TMV declined on a year-over-year basis in the fourth quarter, primarily due to the high base effect during the same period of 2022 when continuing pandemic restrictions drove a surge in order volumes. It was also partly caused by the suspension of operations in some cities and stations in 2023. Nevertheless, we have continued to optimize our commodity structure and enhance our product development capabilities to mitigate the impact of declining consumer prices for certain commodities, such as pork and vegetables, throughout 2023. As a result, the average order value, or AOV, remained stable at 72.1 RMB in Q4. Despite declining year over year, the AOV was still 23% higher than in the same period of 2021. 消费频次是五点八次，同比环比均有进一步提升。本季度会员月均下单人数环比提升了百分之一点九，绿卡会员贡献占整体订单量以及GMV的比例在持续提升。非常感谢我们这群忠诚度极高的用户对京东商品和服
Moreover, the user penetration rate of our private label products also increased by 1.6 percentage points year over year, reaching an outstanding 73.6 percent. Notably, for non-fresh grocery categories, including prepared meals, the GMV contribution from our private label products has skyrocketed to 34.3 percent. A striking year-over-year increase of 7.7 percentage points. We are strongly focused on fresh and healthy and high-end consumer goods. We have created a unique brand and branded products. 这三个品类的自由品牌 GMV 渗透率都超过了百分之五十。We remain committed to providing our customers with fresh and high-quality grocery and food products. We're quick to identify and respond to the changing tastes of our users, which has created opportunities for us to launch several popular and highly successful private label products. As a result, we have built a unique brand portfolio that has earned the trust and loyalty of our customers. Over the past few years, we have successfully launched private label products across three major categories: prepared meals, pork, and soy products. And these three categories of private labels penetrated over 50% of GMV in 2023. 这些成功的品牌包括一，主打家常菜的预制菜自由品牌菜长青，二三年 GMV 约八点四亿元，同比二零二二年增长了百分之四十三，四季度月均复购用户占比达到了百分之三十七。Let me share some examples. First is Cai Changqing, a private label product specializing in prepared home cooked meals. In 2023, GMV totals approximately. 840 million RMB, a significant increase of 43% from 2022. In the fourth quarter of 2023, the average number of monthly repurchasing users reached 37%, showcasing the brand's popularity among its customers. 二，主打面点的良心匠人，二三年 GMV 约五亿元，同比增长了百分之十九，四季度月均复购率接近百分之四十。Second is Good Craftsman Noodles, which specializes in pastries and recorded GMV of approximately 500 million RMB in 2023, an increase of 19% from 2022, with an average monthly repurchase rate of nearly 40% in the fourth quarter. Three, 只卖一天的日鲜猪肉品牌是我们最早成立的品牌，二三年 GMV 约三亿元，同比增长了百分之七。Third, our oldest brand, Fresh Everyday Pork, which has a shelf life of only one day. In 2023, it drove GMV of approximately 300 million RMB, an increase of 7% from 2022, with an average monthly repurchase rate of 32% in the fourth quarter. 四，同时我们聚焦特色黑猪肉，打造的以黑钻世家为代表的黑猪肉自由品牌，表现也非常亮眼。二三年 GMV 约二点三亿元，同比增长了百分之六十八，四季度月均复购率超过了百分之三十六。We also launched a specialty black pork brand called Black Diamond Family, which was well received by consumers. GMV in 2023 reached among around 230 million RMB, a 68% increase from 2022. In the fourth quarter, its average monthly repurchase rate exceeded 36%. Five, producing vegetable products is a vegetable brand. 2021, it was launched in two years. In two years, it quickly gained new users. Its average GMV is 2.5 million, a increase of more than 24%. 四季度月均复购率更是超过了百分之四十一。Finally, our Yodou Zhi brand launched in late 2021 is dedicated to producing soy products. Over the past two years, it has gained significant popularity among consumers, with an annual GMV surpassing 250 million RMB.
representing a year-over-year increase of 24%. In the fourth quarter, its average monthly repurchase rate exceeded 41%. 同时，我们在二三年还把我们的自由品牌和自由供应链商品放到电动买菜平台之外的弊端渠道上进行销售，和市场上其他的产品直接PK。一年的时间里，外销规模做到了约五亿元，取得了不错的成绩，证明了我们
Lastly, having attained profitability, we're looking confidently to the future as we focus on maintaining sustainable long-term growth. 最后，我们展望一下二零二四年全年以及二零二四年一季度的情况。我们有信心，二零二四年的 GMV 能够重回增长轨道，并且在此基础上连续实现全年 non GAAP 口径的盈利。二零二四年 Q1 在考虑了一季度春节不打烊所支出的成本费用之后，我们依然能够做到 non GAAP 口径下的盈利，连续的 non GAAP 口径盈下。盈利不断印证着公司在目前环境的生存能力，同时也为未来的进一步发展提供了充足的子弹。我的发言到此结束，谢谢大家。下面请公司 CFO 王松来介绍一下公司的财务情况。Going forward, we're confident that our GMV will regain growth momentum in 2024, and are confident that we will be able to maintain non-GAAP profitability once again. Even after factoring in the costs and expenses incurred by staying open during the Chinese New Year holiday, we expect to be profitable on a non-GAAP basis during the first quarter of 2024. Maintaining profitability in the current environment highlights the viability of our business model and provides us with additional resources to fuel our future development. Thank you all for listening. Now, I would like to invite our CFO Wang Song to go over the company's financials. 谢谢梁总，大家好。在向大家介绍我们的财务情况之前，先说明一下，我们的所有数字都是以人民币为单位的。Thank you, Mr. Lin, and hello, everyone. Before I review our financial performance, please note that all our figures are in RMB. 二零二三年，叮咚买菜实现了全年 GMV 二百一十九点七亿元，收入一百九十九点七亿元，那 GAAP 净利润率为百分之零点二，同比上年优化了两点六个百分点。我们如期实现了承诺，完成了全年那 GAAP 下的盈利。从二零二一年 Q 三确立效率优先、兼顾规模的战略打法以来，我们经过了两年多时间的努力。在那个标准下，我们已经从二零二一年年度亏损百分之三十点四，大幅提升到全年盈利百分之零点二。In 2023, Dingdong generated GMV of 21.97 billion RMB, revenue of 19.97 billion RMB, and a non-GAAP net profit margin of 0.2%. An improvement of 2.6 percentage points when compared to last year. We successfully met our target and achieved full-year non-GAAP profitability. Our efficiency first was due consideration of scale strategy, which we began implemented in Q3 of 2021, has paid off. After two years of hard work, we are proud to have moved from a non-GAAP annual loss margin of 30.4% in 2021 to a non-GAAP annual profit margin of 0.2% in 2023. 同时，二零二三年 Q 四，叮咚买菜实现营收四十九点九亿元，那 GAAP 净利润率百分之零点三，经营性现金流净流入一点二亿元。从二零二二年 Q 四以来，我们已经实现了连续五个季度的哪个标准下的盈利，并且继三季度之后再次实现了经营性现金流的净流入。同时，在二二零二三年末，呃 ，Q 到短期借款余额后，我们的实际自有资金余额为二十点一亿元，是连续第二个季度的净增加。In Q4 of 2023, Dingdong achieved a revenue of 4.99 billion RMB, a non-GAAP net profit margin of 0.3 percent, and a net operating cash inflow of 120 million RMB. We have achieved non-GAAP profitability for five consecutive quarters since Q4 of 2022. Additionally, we once again achieved net profit. Uh, net operating、uh, cash inflow. At the end of 2023, after deducting the balance of short-term borrowings, our actual our actual self-owned fund balance was 2.01 billion RMB, a net increase for the second consecutive quarter.
，这是我们在过往几年里持续坚持、效率优先、坚固规模取得的成绩，足以说明我们度过了艰难时刻，已经坚定的生存下来了。我们也有充足的子弹去重返增长的轨道。Over the past few years, we have achieved great success by prioritizing efficiency while considering the scale of our operations. The success has enabled us to overcome challenging times and establish ourselves firmly in the market. We have ample resources available to resume our growth trajectory. 接下来，我们来看一下呃 Q 四的具体财务情况。Q 四的营收为四十九点九亿元，受到二二年 Q 四疫情高基数和经营层次调整的影响，同比下降了百分之十九点五。值得一提的是，我们江浙区域逆势上涨。二零二三年全年来看，江浙区域的 GMV 和订单量都实现了同比百分之八以上的正增长。Next, let's review the financial performance of Q4 in detail. Revenue for the quarter was 4.99 billion RMB, down by 19.5 percent year over year, mainly due to the high base effect created by pandemic restrictions during the same period last year, and the suspension of operations in some cities and stations. However, it's important to note that regions such as Jiangsu and Zhejiang provinces have performed exceptionally well despite the challenging environment. Both GMV and order volume in these provinces grew by over 8% year over year throughout 2023. Q4 的毛利率为 30.6%， 同比去年降低了 2.3 个百分点。在消费者越来越理性的当下，我们更多的让利消费者，毛利率符合我们的预期。未来，我们会继续为消费者提供更高的价值，让消费者买的实惠，吃的放心。同时，我们也会利用供应链和商品力的优势，向餐桌以外的吃的场景延伸，破品类圈层，大力发展自有品牌，打造头部大单品，持续治理长尾低销商品，提升端到端的供应链效率。在 Q 四，我们端到端全链路损耗率为百分之一点三，同比降低了零点四个百分点。In Q4, our gross profit margin was 30.6 percent, a decrease of 2.3 percentage points from the same period last year. With consumers reducing their spending, we're working to entice them to our platform by offering added benefits while maintaining a reasonable gross profit margin. Moving forward, we'll focus on providing consumers with more value. So that they can buy affordable and quality products without any worries. We also plan to explore new food consumption scenarios beyond the dining table. We're leveraging our supply chain and product development capabilities to create private label and best-selling products, while also carefully managing slow-moving commodities to improve supply chain efficiency. It's important to note that our supply chain loss rate was 1.3 percent in Q4, an improvement of 0.4 percentage points compared to the same period、uh, last year. Q4 的履约费用率为百分之二三点六，同比去年优化了零点五个百分点。二零二三年，我们成功完成了分选中心仓网布局的优化。Q4 大仓履约费用率同比优化了一点零个百分点。同比呃全年同比下降了一点八个百分点。同时，我们为进一步提升我们的服务力，主动增加了前十仓履约时效的投入。二零二三年四季度，即时履约单时长为三十六分钟，较三季度环比快了两分钟。全年来看，我们即时单履约时长控制在三十八分钟以内。在二零二四年，我们会通过优化运力结构、履约系统的迭代升级、仓内八号台的节降。以及前置仓节能减排等精细化运营，对前置仓进行降本增效。Q4 fulfillment expense ratio improved by 0.5 percentage points year over year to 23.6 percent. Throughout 2023, we implemented various optimization measures for our network of regional processing centers, which resulted in a 1 and 1.8 percentage points year-over-year year decline in fulfillment expense ratio in Q4 and in full year 2023, respectively. Additionally, we increased our investment in frontline fulfillment stations、uh, efficiency to enhance our service capabilities. 
As a result, we reduced our fulfillment time to rush orders to 36 minutes during the quarter, two minutes faster than in Q3. Throughout the year, we may, we remain Uh, we maintain rush order fulfillment times with to within 38 minutes. In 2024, we plan to reduce costs and increase the efficiency of frontline fulfillment stations through further operational refinement, such as optimizing transportation capacity, um, iterative uh, iterative upgrades to our fulfillment system, uh, reduction of packing and consumables, and implementation of energy conservation and emissions reductions policy in frontline fulfillment stations. Q4 of the sales volume is 2%, compared to last year, it increased by 0.5 percentage points. 如前面所说，在优异的财务表现和充足的现金储备的前提下， 2 0 2 4年我们将适当加大在营销上的投入。Selling and marketing expense ratio in Q4 was 2 percent, up 0.5 percentage points year over year. As mentioned, we plan to allocate additional resources between、uh, towards、uh, marketing in 2024 due to our strong financial performance and sufficient cash reserves. Q4 的管理费用率较去年同期优化了零点五个百分点，到了百分之一点九；研发费用率较去年同期优化了零点三个百分点，来到了百分之三点八。我们将一如既往的在食品研发、农业科技和技术数据算法等方面持续进行研发投入。General and administrative expense ratio in Q4 improved to 1.9%。Up 0.5 percentage points from the same period last year. Additionally, R&D expense ratio improved to 3.8 percent, up 0.3 percentage points from the same period last year. As always, we remain committed to investing in food research, agricultural technology, and data algorithm. 二零二三年四季度，我们实现了 NAGAP 口径下的百分之零点三的净利润率。这是我们连续第五个季度保持哪个的口径下的盈利。In Q4 2023, we achieved a non-GAAP net profit margin of 0.3 percent, our fifth consecutive quarter of non-GAAP profitability. Q4, we achieved a non-GAAP profit margin of 0.3 percent, our fifth consecutive quarter of non-GAAP profitability. Q4, we achieved a non-GAAP profit margin of 0.3 percent, our fifth consecutive quarter of non-GAAP profitability. 现金及现金等价物，短期受限资金和短期投资的余额为五十三点一亿元。在扣掉短期借款余额后，我们的实际自有资金余额为二十点一亿元。最后，再给大家更新一下我们在春节期间的表现。在二月二十四号元宵节这一天，我们单日销售超过了一亿元，是疫情后的单日最高水平。除夕到元宵节的同店数据，单量同比提升了百分之六 ，GMV 同比提升了百分之五。华东区域单量同比提升了百分之九 ，GMV 同比提升了百分之七。考虑到今年春节长假期间，江浙沪返乡出行的居民同比增长较大的情况下，以上表现更加难能可贵。We generated a positive operating cash inflow of 120 million RMB in the fourth quarter. As of the end of Q4, the total balance of our cash and cash equivalent, short-term restricted cash, and short-term investment was 5.31 billion RMB. After deducting the balance of short-term borrowings, we have ample cash on our balance sheet with 2.01 billion RMB. I would like to update you on how we did during the Chinese New Year. On February the 24th, which was the Lantern Festival, we achieved a GMV of more than 100 million RMB in just one day, setting our highest single-day record post-pandemic. Additionally, between the Chinese New Year's Eve and Lantern Festival, on the same store level, our overall order volume increased by 6% year over year and GMV by 5%. And in East China, our order volume increased by nine percent year over year, and GMV by seven percent. It's worth noting that this performance is even more impressive, considering that during the Chinese New Year, there were significantly more outbound residents from Jiangsu, Zhejiang, and Shanghai. Our financial resources are sufficient. In 2024, we will continue to use high-quality goods to deliver high-quality goods to consumers. 
。同时，我们也会利用我们在全流量的供应链能力和系统能力，来持续提升我们的运营效率和盈利能力。For 2024, our primary focus will be to maintain our high-quality services and deliver products that offer the best cost-effectiveness and quality ratio to our valued customers. Furthermore, we'll take advantage of our comprehensive supply chain and system capabilities to improve our operational efficiency and drive profitability. Our today's presentation is over. Albert, now we can enter the question and answer. This concludes our speech today, operator. We can now start the question and answer session. Thank you. We will now begin the question and answer session. To ask a question, you may press star then one on your touchtone phone. If you are using a speakerphone, please pick up your handset before pressing the keys. If at any time your question has been addressed and you would like to withdraw your question, please press star then two. When asking the question, please state your question in Chinese first, then repeat your question in English for the convenience of everyone on the call. At this time, we will pause momentarily to assemble our roster. The first question today comes from Jai Jing Chen with CICC. Please go ahead. Hey, Yang Zong, hello, Wang Zong, hello. 我是中金公司的分析师陈家静，很高兴给我这个提问的机会啊！也恭喜公司连续实现五个季度能盖口径的盈利。呃，我看到公司最近发了公告，啊、呃，将在二五年一月二十八号前回购至多两千万美元的一个股份。啊、呃，想请问一下，关于回购、呃，公司是怎么去考虑的呢？谢谢啊，我来翻译一下。Hello, Mr. Liang and Mr. Wang. I am Chen Jiajing from CICC. Congratulations on achieving five consecutive quarters of non-GAAP profitability. Uh, Ding Dong recently announced that the company plans to repurchase up to 20 million US dollars of its shares by uh, January, 20, uh, uh, January 2025. Um, could you give give us more color on this? Thank you. Ah,、uh, 谢谢你的问题。呃，先向大家简单汇报一下，我们在一月底对外公告了这这个持续一年的总回购金额上限为两千万美金的股票回购计划。那我们计划在本次季报披露后的非季末期内开始回购。Thank you for your question. Um, as you mentioned, we recently announced a stock repurchase plan that will last one year, with a total limit of twenty million U.S. dollars. We expect to begin buying back shares once the blackout period ends following earnings. From a long-term perspective, we think that the current price is too low. For companies with limited funds, the best way to buy back is to split the shares equally among the shareholders. Especially when the price is too low, this is beneficial for the company itself and for the shareholders. Based on the company's internal situation and the future confidence. 我们认为公司目前整体经营状况良好，有充足的现金储备，同时我们也毫不担心未来一年的现金流。我们有充足够的自有资金来发起这个股份回购。Our stock is significantly undervalued at the current price, especially in view of our long-term growth prospects. Given our ample cash reserves, buying back stock is an effective way to allocate capital, especially when the stock is undervalued. This program will be beneficial for both the company and its shareholders. Based on the company's internal operations and our confidence in its future, we're convinced that our overall operations are in very good condition. We have ample cash reserves and zero concern about cash flow for the next year. This leaves us in an ideal situation and position to carry out a share buyback with our own cash. In the current economic and financial situation, we hope to use this means to display the company's health and financial situation, improve the company's internal value, and also to demonstrate our long-term value. But we also need to be clear that the buyback is only a business action. 提高企业综合价值的关键，还是在于目前我们持续提高的经营能力，这样才能持续长期可持续发展。谢谢。Given current 
Given current economic and market conditions, this share repurchase program reflects our strong financial position. Our goal is to increase the company's intrinsic value and show that we have confidence in its long-term growth. However, it's important to note that buying back, sh- buying back shares is just market activity. The key to enhancing the company's overall value lies in our ability to continuously improve our operational capabilities, ensuring sustainable and long-term development. Thank you. The next question comes from Thomas Chong from Jeffries. Please go ahead. Uh, 梁总你好, uh, 感谢接受我的提问, uh, 我这边问题就是想问, 我们是否能对全年做个总结, 然后从战略上与之前是否有什么变化? Um, uh, I will translate myself. Um, thanks for taking my question. My question is, um, can you provide a summary of the year, and are there any changes in strategies? Thanks. 好,谢谢您的问题。首先呢,我想跟大家分享一句话,叫Hard Times Create Strumming,就是说艰难的时刻总能创造勇敢的人和勇敢的团队。那么这句话呢,对应着我们的两个阶段。第一个是在疫情期间,我们面对着各种各样的挑战和困难,包括系统人员供应链的承接能力,我们
we can work towards improving our market penetration in these regions to further expand our reach. All right, say. 当下做好一餐饭品类优势的基础上，我们也会利用供应链的优势，向餐桌以外的吃的场景延伸，破拼品类圈层。在自有品牌的建设上，我们会在当下已经取得长足进展的基础上，进一步提高非生鲜品类的自有品牌占比，同时打造头部大大单品，始终围绕着成为中国家庭生鲜和食品购物的首选的目标努力。In addition, we'll utilize our、um, existing strengths in the meals category and leverage the efficiency of our supply chain to expand beyond traditional dining scenarios. This will enable us to break through into new categories to reach new heights.、Um, we'll increase the proportion of private label products in the non-fresh grocery categories, building on the significant progress we already have made. At the same time, we'll focus on developing and promoting best-selling products to become the preferred choice for grocery and food shopping for Chinese families. 三，在渠道建设上，同上面所讲，我们会进一步加大在现有区域用户渗透的资源投入，重回 GMV 增长目标。与此同时，我们会进一步加大与包括抖音、饿了么等外部渠道的合作，增加在上市渠道的市场份额。When it comes to our channel strategy, as I mentioned earlier, we plan to invest more resources in deepening our reach to users in existing regions to achieve our GMV growth target. Additionally, we'll collaborate even more closely with Douyin and Ulama and seek partnerships with external、um, with other external channels to expand our market share in these channels. 其次是广积粮，在延续过往效率优先、兼顾规模的基础上，我们会在二零二四年进一步提升供应链的效率。且经团队初步盘点后，我们已经有了相对明确的行动方案。同时，在区域上，我们也会加快亏损区域在整体经营能力上的调整、改善和止血。在这两方面做好之后，我们能才能在冬天中活下来，进而更好地迎接下个春天。Our second priority is to focus on the long-term sustainability of our business. To achieve this, we'll prioritize driving efficiency while scaling our business and improving our supply chain efficiency further. We have already mapped out a number of actionable measures that we'll take this year to do so. Additionally, we aim to speed up the operational adjustment and improvement we're making in loss-making areas at a regional level. To stem financial losses, this will ensure that we can survive the challenging environment we currently face and position ourselves to grow once things improve. 正如我们以前财报分析会上所提到的，在疫情后，零售企业需要适应充满挑战的新环境，消费者购物的心态趋于确定性，即使零售终将。回归到商业本质，需要更好的提供给消费者购物过程中确定的服务能力、稳定的品质保障和价格竞争力。在这个冬天，我们将持续磨练商品力、服务力、运营力以及组织能力等基本功。谢谢。As we mentioned, as we mentioned in previous earnings calls, retailers need to adapt to a complex new post-pandemic environment. What consumers want most in the current environment is certainty, and instant delivery retail can cater to this by providing reliable service, stable quality assurance, and competitive pricing. Given this climate, we'll continue refining our core competencies, including product, service,、uh, operational, and organizational capabilities. Thank you. As a reminder, if you have a question, please press star then one to be joined into the question queue. That's star then one to enter the question queue. As there are no further questions, I'd like to return the call to our management for closing remarks. Thank you again for joining our call today. If you have any further questions. Please feel free to contact us or request through our website. 
We look forward to speaking with everyone in our next earnings call. Have a good day. The conference has now concluded. Thank you for attending today's presentation. You may now disconnect.